The home should be a place that has a natural flow to it. There are routines and rhythms set in place. There is tidiness and cleanliness, and of course, love and joy that abound all throughout the home. I heard a podcast recently about natural flow in the home and I love that phrase and that is what I hope to create in my home and thrive on honestly. So my rhythms and routines start before the kids get up. I go outside for a walk, I come back and I do my exercises and today was a cloudy day so I needed to light the candles and make sure that it was a cozy, inviting atmosphere, even while I'm working out. So I also enjoy my Bible reading, and that's just something that I have shared before, but sets my day off right. I enjoy having the quiet hour, hour and a half to myself, maybe with my husband, before the kids get up. And I think that also just sets the routine for them when I have set my day off to a good start, then they see you are ready. And part of that is setting the kitchen the night before. So I set the table the night before mostly for breakfast and just make things a little bit more convenient and easy in that way. On this particular day, we were working by candlelight and just the glow of the little light as my daughter helped me make the eggs too. And then it was breakfast time and we all sit down together for all three meals. And after breakfast, it's playtime while I clean up. The kids get themselves dressed and ready. So do I, but sometimes there's a little bit of delay on that as I like to get my kids dressed, I get myself dressed and ready. And we just make sure all the routines are set. Brushing the teeth. So yes, sometimes there is a little bit of fighting of that, but it still happens and we are making sure it is a natural part of our day. if kids see their mamas and their dads doing these routines then they are more prone to wanting to have routines and rhythms themselves the natural habits of getting dressed making the bed brushing their teeth doing their hair that all just comes to play as they see the parents do it and so that's what I want to instill in my kids is these habits, these routines that truly get our days started off right. So that is why them helping make the bed or unmake the bed because they can't quite make the bed is important. And yes, I may finish the bed up, but just making sure that they see that they get to be part of that. And then yes, I get to make my own bed, unmake my bed. It is sheet stay and this is part of my weekly cleaning routine on this particular day. We wash our sheets on this day. I do have a weekly cleaning routine schedule over on my blog that I created a while ago. You can find that under Inspiring Homemaking on my blog. And it's just something that I find important to create a natural home and a natural flow in the home. officially started homeschooling yet, but we'll plan to. But I just wanted to start getting the habit and routine of sitting down at the table and doing a little of our routine as the school weeks and months are approaching. So some Bible memory verses, some reading together, some of our little calendar and clock is just a way to get that started. I love reading to my girls. My little boy, not quite ready to sit down yet, but just that half hour to an hour of quality time of 
reading, interacting is important. And then, of course, like I said, the kitchen is the heart of the home. They play there. They do their Play-Doh there. I get to fold laundry and interact with them while they're doing something fun. I'm doing a task. And yes, my kids do help me with some laundry. Another habit that I'm trying to instill in them as well when um, needed. And then they wanted to make some more banana cookies. I let them do the whole thing themselves. Other than I did fix a few of the cookies that wouldn't have baked evenly if I would have let them be really small. But this recipe will be over on my blog, DaveyKillian.com. I have had so many of you ask about these simple banana cookie recipes. Um, it's such an easy recipe. Pretty simple for kids to make. Pretty nutritious as it's banana, oats. I put raisins in it. I put powdered peanut butter in it. It's just such a simple um, option for a cookie of sorts. And then it's meal prep time for lunch. Just a simple affair of our meat, cheese, veggies, fruit. And this is something we do in the summers when it's just, we're outside a lot, we're busy in the mornings, just to be able to come inside and have this simple lunch. My routine of cleanup after lunch is about 20-25 minutes before the kids have quiet time. I try to get everything done before the kids have their quiet time and nap time about 1 o'clock because I think that time is so crucial for me as a somewhat working mom of doing my blog and YouTube um, and just also somewhat having that time to myself during that nap time. Creating that scheduled nap time is a habit that you have to create and it is one I've created for all of my kids and get my babies in line with that quiet time of their older siblings as well when their routines and schedules come about. There's something so great about having routines and kids thrive on them so much. I know I've talked about that before but not just having a free-for-all throughout the day really actually makes more freedom for the day, if that makes sense. Then it's time to work on my computer and enjoy the rest of my morning coffee so I can have time to get that done while the kiddos rest and have quiet time. If I get all my creative work done on my computer, I like to prep supper. So it's just a simple roast carrots and sweet potatoes with fresh herbs on top for supper today. And I love just the calmness that creating a meal makes and that routine I have of doing that during nap time or right after is just something that I have established as it makes it easier to be able to go outside for a few hours after nap time and not have to worry about being around or running into the house all the time to do meal prep and being able to enjoy quality time with the kids after their nap time. a locally raised beef roast with some of my fresh herbs, some rosemary, some thyme, some sage, and going to bake that in the oven until it is delicious and smelling fragrant in the home. <music> nap time we always have a snack I do let my older two watch about 20-25 minutes of a show that is also a nice time for me to make my latte or feed the little guy his snack or finish up uh, supper prep on this particular day we went for a little walk first and then I got to make my decaf latte and that's just such a treat I enjoy taking it outside while the kids play outside 
Um, I just sip on it all afternoon and evening long. It is decaf. I have converted to decaf because I just feel like that is better for my body lately to not have caffeine past three o'clock. So decaf it is. And we're just enjoying some quality time outside. And I love that about my job as a stay-at-home mom. I get to be with my kids. I get to interact with them. I get to enjoy just meandering through my gardens, looking at all the blooms, clipping some of the flowers to bring into the home, blowing bubbles, playing on the swing set, just being part of my children's youth and growing up time is so important to me as this phase does not last very long. And that's just the rhythm of life and the rhythm of my home that I have as a stay-at-home mama. The clouds moved in and some sprinkles and rain came down, but we still enjoyed being outside. beautiful basket by my little girl created into a beautiful bouquet to grace the center of our table with. The zinnias are beautiful, black-eyed Susans, some of my other herbs I've been using just add some life and brightness. So switching out my old flower pitcher and putting on this new arrangement. Then the table was set for supper. I'm relighting another candle as it is still cloudy right now just to enjoy during the evening meal. Fresh sweet corn, my carrots, sweet potato, and roast. Then after our meal, the rhythms of life continue as I clean up the kitchen. And my husband and I have this wonderful rhythm of he plays with the kids while I finish cleaning up. He'll help sometimes every once in a while. But I love doing the final touches of cleanup. I think it's kind of one of my pet peeves, possibly, to get it just clean, dishes put away, um, floor swept or swiffered or spot cleaned under my little guy's chair, just to kind of have that last eye over it as I see the particulars a little bit more. So getting that done while the kiddos are still awake and then... We got the kids tucked into bed. We are saying goodnight to them and it is time for the sunset. The clouds have dissipated and a beautiful sky has come upon us. I am pouring myself some tea as I will be prepping a sourdough biscuit for the next morning as part of my rhythm of the day with working with sourdough, preparing the night before is often needed. So getting that in the mixer and then I will be folding up some laundry to finish up the evening. My husband has a routine. If I go out for my walks in the morning, he heads out for a run in the evening. So when he gets home, we enjoy some time together. Then we hit the bed. So I hope you enjoyed just seeing my natural flow of my home and my day and that you can create a flow in your home that suits your lifestyle well. Mm -hmm.